Welcome to the May 2015 College of Nursing Commencement Ceremonies. I'm Rita Franz, Dean of the College of Nursing. I want to extend an especially warm welcome to the family of our graduates. I know that the room is filled with mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, grandparents, and extended family and friends. We are so pleased to have you with us to bear witness to this milestone achievement of our graduates. We feel privileged and grateful to have, to have had them as a part of our family here in the College of Nursing for the past few years. The entire university community shares in your pride and happiness on this very special day. Assisting us with the ceremonies today are our graduate marshal, Sawyer Henderson, who led the processional, and members of the College of Nursing Administration who are seated on the platform to my right and who will assist in these ceremonies are Professor Ellen Cram, Associate Dean for Undergraduate and Pre-Licensure Programs, Professor Thad Wilson, Executive Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, and representing the university's central administration who will confer the degrees, Vice President for Student Life for the University of Iowa, Dr. Tom Rocklin. We'd all, I'd also like to recognize Christine Elgin, our sign language interpreter, and Jonathan Toschek, our pianist. For the graduates, this day marks a milestone of achievement on their journey along the path of professional nursing. Today, you, the graduates, transition from student to professional nurse. Reflecting back on this journey, it began with a vision of being here today. Along your voyage, you had to work hard, encountered perhaps a few setbacks, and experienced great joys. Your relentless efforts and sacrifices have paid off. Today, you join an elite group of professional nurses. You will be distinguished as an Iowa nurse. This distinction marks you as a professional nurse of the highest integrity, who has the competence, compassion, and confidence to lead the discipline of nursing into the future. While none of us can predict exactly what the future holds, we can be certain that healthcare will change in both incremental and significant ways. In the near term, the new healthcare laws identify great challenges in the management of chronic conditions, primary care, including care coordination and transitional care disease prevention and wellness, and the prevention of adverse events such as hospital-acquired infections. Most of these near-term challenges speak to the traditional and current strengths of the nursing profession in such areas as care coordination, health promotion, and quality improvement. How well nurses are educated and do their jobs is inextricably tied to most healthcare quality measures that have been targeted for improvement over the past few years. Thus, for nursing, the challenges of healthcare reform provide an opportunity for the profession to meet the demand for safe, high quality, patient centered, and equitable healthcare services for a reformed and better integrated healthcare system. Your baccalaureate degree in nursing has armed you with the critical scientific knowledge and decision-making skills to transform the healthcare system for the foreseeable future. You can become a shaper of change. Embrace this incredible opportunity. As you embark on your nursing careers, I challenge you to make a difference in our healthcare system. Through your willingness to seek new knowledge about best practices and evidence-based care, 
through your curiosity to look for gaps in your clinical practice and in the healthcare system and address them through innovative solutions and through a skill set that emphasizes critical thinking and treating the whole patient. Your deep-seated commitment to clinical excellence makes us proud to have you as our graduates. We congratulate you on your accomplishments and we welcome you to the profession of nursing. Now out here in the audience, there are many people here who have helped make this day possible for the graduates. Parents, siblings, spouses, extended family and friends who have had been a source of constant support and encouragement to our soon to be BSNs. So graduates, would you please stand and face all these special people and join me in a round of applause for all these important people who made this day possible. Thank you. It's now my special pleasure to introduce Annalise Jacobson, who will be speaking on behalf of the May 2015 BSN class. Annalise graduated. Come on up here while I tell them a little bit about you. Annalise graduated from Iowa City High School in Iowa City in 2011. She came to the University of Iowa on an athletic scholarship in rowing and was a member of the Iowa women's rowing team in 2011 and in 2012. Annalise was recognized as an old gold scholar for her academic achievements each year of her undergraduate program. While pursuing her BSN, Annalise has worked as a nursing assistant at University of Iowa hospitals and clinics in various intensive care specialty units, most recently the neurosurgery neurology unit. She chose a career in nursing because she, in her own words, loves people fiercely and the world with abandon. Following graduation, she will be traveling to Central African Republic to work as a staff nurse in Gambula Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our BSN class speaker, Annalise Jacobson. Hi. <laughs> Um, before I start, I just want to say that I'm here and we're all here because of our family and our phenomenal professors and each other, so thank you. <laughs> Everyone wants to say that their people are special, but it's true about these people. We began at Iowa as unfamiliar faces in big lecture halls and moved to frightened juniors with a white coat and a stethoscope we didn't know how to use. Today we're here together, forever bonded, somewhat knowledgeable, and unstoppable. <laughs> Through thick and thin, we have been a team. A bond was forged between the terror of health assessment and the confusion of pathophysiology. A semester where we cried more than we laughed, and a young Laura Knoll threw out her back walking to the library with all her textbooks. <laughs> Dr. Cram taught us a thousand uses for the phrase, it depends. <laughs> our Facebook group began to docu document the saga of our time in school with weird medical humor, much needed encouragement, and more than a little last minute test panic. Our camaraderie continued in the mountains of prep packets and the wilderness of the performance exams. We were in this together and somewhere, somehow we started to feel like nurses. We were yelled at, pooped on, peed on, <laughs> exhausted, and together. Everyone got tired of professors apologizing to Jason. <laughs> uh, as the only man in our group, I would like to thank Jason for gracefully shouldering the amount of estrogen that would have brought a lesser man to his knees. <laughs> Thank you. 
We stood shoulder to shoulder and began to recognize that our peers were rich in the qualities you can't always teach. Kindness, loyalty, hope, and perseverance. As our senior year commenced, we began to crave independence as the hours of our clinicals ticked away. We learned about kids and babies. And I have a question for all the mothers out there. Why is your birthing video on YouTube? <laughs> I want to understand. <laughs> We nervously diagnosed ourselves with various psychiatric disorders <laughs> and then moved on to our friends and family. <laughs> we took on our senior internships, invading the world of critical care, pediatrics, OB, cardiology, and emergency medicine. And by the end, there was more laughter than tears, and it felt good to be us against the world. These people are the bravest and most remarkable people I know. I've tried a hundred times to explain how exceptional they are, they are, and I never seem to manage it. Maybe you just had to be there. Since the nursing program started, some of us have been counting down the weeks and days, watching them slip away with agonizing slowness and then with a speed that got away from us. Linda Myers has been updating us hourly. <laughs> I remember the celebration when we broke 100 days, and now it's my honor to tell you we're about 20 minutes away. Rumor has it when we walk across this stage and pass our boards, we will be nurses. And as long as we can manage to stay out of prison, no one can take it away from us. <laughs> today is a happy day, but we're entering a profession and a world where not every day is. And that's okay. We laugh so much about these years, but we have learned about the weight and responsibility of nursing. People always talk with higher reverence about the higher calling of our chosen profession, but they don't talk about our struggle with death, how we rage against its injustice, and we fight it, but sometimes say it's best. We talk about quality of life, goals of care, and letting nature take its course, but in the end, we watch people walk into the unknown. We zip them in a bag, and we go see our next patient, and we smile. We are deeply complex people in a deep and complex world. There's a quote on the wall of our nursing lounge, and it says, nursing is the art and science of care. And I've always loved this quote, not just because I stare at it when I'm supposed to be studying, <laughs> but it captures the idea that nursing is where healthcare meets people. It's more than assessments and medications and charts. And in the immortal words of Peg, you could teach a monkey to take a blood pressure. <laughs> Nursing is about connecting with people, standing up for their needs and choices, and truly caring for them. So be strong, be fierce, be unrepentantly and unforgettably yourself. Trust your instincts, make mistakes, forgive yourself, be human, because in the end, nursing is about the human connection between all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Annalise. We are pleased to have with us for the conferring of degrees the Vice President of the University, Tom Rocklin. Dr. Rocklin was appointed Vice President for Student Life at the University of Iowa in October of 2010. He earned an AB degree in psychology from UC Berkeley and master's and PH degrees in psychology at Northwestern University. He joined the faculty of the University of Iowa College of Education in 1986 and was the founding director of the Center for Teaching. Please join me in welcoming Vice President Rockland. Good morning. Welcome, graduates my faculty and staff colleagues, family and friends, and honored guests to the spring 2015 College of Nursing commencement exercises. Today is a joyful day as we acknowledge and honor the accomplishments of the newest members of a distinguished group, alumni of the University of Iowa College of Nursing. The last time I stood before many of you was at convocation, the day before your first day of classes. I told you that during the time here, you were going to develop skills and knowledge you might not even have been able to imagine. 
I told you that some of you would be prepared to solve complex technical problems essential to the well-being of the planet. I told you that some of you would have traveled abroad and studied one or more languages in such depth that you would be prepared to address global issues of enormous complexity. I told you that others of you would have participated with a faculty mentor in original research published in prestigious journals. And now, all of that and so much more has happened. You've worked hard and with the help of many have met the challenges that have come before you. I'd like to take a moment to add my thanks to those among us, the parents, grandparents, husbands, wives, partners, significant others, children, brothers, sisters, friends, other relatives who helped this class come to this point. We deeply appreciate the support you provided them. Think back to that day before your first University of Iowa class. You were about to become a new kind of person, a university student. Some, perhaps most of you, wondered if you had what it took to become that kind of person. We had complete confidence in you. Now you stand on a new threshold. You will leave this ceremony once again a new kind of person. You will be a university graduate, not just any university graduate, but a graduate of the University of Iowa College of Nursing. And once again, we have complete confidence in you. You are the futures of your communities, your countries, and the world. Along with the pride that you take in your accomplishments today, you take on a responsibility. People will rightly look to you to put all that you have learned here to work to make the world a better place. Some of you will become famous for the ways you make the world a better place. Many of you will make your contributions in smaller, quieter, but ultimately just as important ways. That then is my charge to you today. In ways large and small, use what you have learned here at the University of Iowa, what you've learned in the classroom and beyond, to build a better world. As you step forth, we applaud the hard work that has brought you this far and look forward to the many ways you, the newest members of a worldwide network of University of Iowa graduates, will make your communities, your countries, and the world a better place. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Dr. Rocklin. Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing please rise? Vice President Rockland, these candidates, having completed all of the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing, are recommended to you by the faculty of the College of Nursing for the conferring of this degree. On the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Nursing and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, State of Iowa, I confer on each of you the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing as qualified and designated. The turning of the tassel is the tradition of gesture by which each student signifies passage from degree candidate to graduate. Now, before we recognize each of you individually, please mark your new status as graduates of the University of Iowa College of Nursing by moving the tassel on your cap from the right side to the left. Okay, you can be seated now.
It's my honor to be able to call individual names and provide recognition for each of our newest graduates. If the first row would please come forward. Thank you. Megan Rediesel, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Casey McChristy, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, with honors in nursing, and with high distinction. Haley Murins, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Carolyn Kai, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Molly Ryther, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Kelly Kane, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with honors in nursing. Lindsay Wayne, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Carolyn Schneider, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Brianne Benjamin, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with honors in nursing. Caitlin Bruns, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Brenda Roca, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors. Kate Walsh, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with University Honors. Jenny Eisenberg, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing. Miranda Schmidt, BSN, with Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Kim Rossi, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, with Honors. Kelsey Spitz, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Ashley Lee Kander, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with honors in nursing and with highest distinction. Rebecca Seagriff, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Megan Quinn, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Second bar. Lauren Jacobson, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with honors in nursing. Angela Dunn, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Kelsey McKegg, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors. Kristen, Kristen Gearing, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Carissa Borman, BSN, 
Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Laura Honaki, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. The one, the only, Jason Bussler, <laughs> BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Taylor Fassbinder, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN, Honors in Nursing with Distinction. Michelle Micas, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Kristen Adams, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Marissa Ripley, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors. Catherine Seaton, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Mackenzie Wallace, BSN, BA, Nursing and International Studies with University Honors. Sarah Flatterer, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Distinction. Jessica Lewandowski, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with University Honors with High Distinction and Honors in Nursing. Jennifer Lotz, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Highest Distinction. Dana Quinlan, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Ariel Pearson, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Jean Deppman, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Laura Houghton, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Honors in Nursing with Highest Distinction. Julie Manuet, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Rebecca Dom, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Sarah Milkey, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Jamie Pepper, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Alexandra Kuznetsov, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Laura Noel, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with honors and highest distinction. Annalise Jacobson, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Catherine Campbell, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Taylor Christensen, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Molly Streaker, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Brianna Sikorsky, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Ashley.
Ashley Weiser, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Okay. Lauren Cassidy, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Honors in Nursing with Highest Distinction. Natalie Sturms, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors and with High Distinction. Okay. Stephanie Mueller, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Thank you. Amy Wheelove, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN. Amanda Burroughs, BSN, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Please join me in offering our heartiest congratulations to these, our newest graduates. This weekend, you will leave the College of Nursing and start new roles in the profession of nursing. Start out by aiming high. Along with the faculty, I have great hopes for you, our graduates. I hope you find true meaning, contentment, and passion in your life. I hope that you navigate the hard times and you come out with greater strength and resolve. I hope that whatever balance you seek, you find it with your eyes wide open. And I hope that you have the ambition to take charge of the healthcare world because it desperately needs you to transform it. Now, I know that that's a big challenge and a really daunting task, but you can do it. And know that we will be watching and cheering you on. Congratulations and best wishes to all our 2015 College of Nursing graduates. The Marshal will please come forward to lead the recessional. Will the graduates please rise for the recessional? And will the audience please remain seated until the graduates, faculty representatives, and platform party have exited? <laughs> 